Hi, this is Steve Rothstein from Rothstein Model Trains. Today we have a new kind of unusual video for you. For us, it's an unboxing of a train that we just bought, picked up at Dibble's Hobbies just now. But it's something that we haven't done before. You might have known that uh, or seen on our other videos, we're doing everything in N-Gage. My son and I are building an N-Gage train empire. Well, along the way, family found out we were doing it. Of course, we told them and we got some other trains given to us. My father used to model HO trains back in the 60s and 70s. My older brother had some HO trains. A friend of mine gave us some HO trains. So we were building up this little collection of HO trains. Then at the hobby shop, I saw a locomotive that I thought was really interesting, really neat, but it was HO. Well, I bought it anyway because we were building up little HO. So we've got a small HO test layout, sort of, and it's kind of hidden and hard to see in here because it's kicked my son's Lego trains out <laughs> and built it down there. But what we picked up today is a double locomotive set from Broadway Limited of their new Baldwin Centipede locomotives. These were originally designed by Baldwin Locomotive back between 45 and 48, or made between 45 and 48. They called them Centipede because they had 12 axles, eight of which were actually driven. And that's a lot. <laughs> it, it is really an unusual configuration. And you can see them down here, and we're gonna take them out so you can see what they look like. And as you can see, with that many axles, the name Centipede kind of jumps out at you as being what they were going to do. The original locomotives are 91 feet long. They are a long train. And what they did was the frame on the real ones is articulated in the middle so that it will go around curves by bending the frame a little bit. And this one doesn't have an articulated frame, but they make the trucks to match it so it'll go around the curves for us and we're going to take this um, i've always been impressed with the broadway limited trains themselves we've got several of them in engage they have a lot of the interesting detail this is a set that was uh marked for the pennsylvania rail road and pennsylvania built bought 24 of these locomotives and then put a drawbar instead of a uh, coupler so that they were permanently mounted as pairs. Um, this one does have a coupler, a drawbar on it. We will put it on later as we get to a real locomotive, but you'll be able to see that there's a difference between them. Just like the originals were done. So, I'll try and get to see. If you look up top, you'll see these rails and actually radio antennas on one that was the front unit. And the locomotives are slightly different in design between the front and rear. And Broadway Limited did an excellent job with the detail on these and keeping them pretty much true to the original. That's my experience with them in their end gauge stuff. This is my first HO from them and we're gonna test it in a second. What's really interesting and what I like about Broadway is their trains come with DCC and sound all built in, and they also work on just the straight DC railroad, uh, which is all we have here for this. So we're gonna run them on DC. You should be able to hear some of the sounds if I can get it to go down this re-railer here. Okay, so this is what they look like on the track. And we're gonna see if it'll start up for us. You can hear the locomotive sounds, at least the engine sound. I don't have control of the horn or the bell or anything because I don't have DC. DCC commands on it, just the DC. I like the fact that Broadway Women built the locomotives and the decoders to produce some sound 
in the DC mode. And this will work on DC or DCC without any problem. Nice detail, the class lights on it work, the headlight works in the direction it's going. We're going to show you that now. So you can see that this time the headlight's on in the other direction. And you can see how much the locomotive swings out on the curve over this. The body swings so that the uh, trucks follow the rails properly. All designed to go around curves and help with, with existing curves that were built for smaller locomotives. So this is our first new DCC capable HF scale locomotive and we're going to put it away for a while because until I can get enough time and money and room to build another layout that will be HF scale and go for everything. That layout will be interesting because I will have some DC only for the older end locomotives we got. As you can see this one steam locomotive from the 70s sitting on the track behind us. But I just wanted to show off the new acquisition. Now we've got an incentive to start building a better layout for it.